Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and iOS 17.6 is just around the corner. Now iOS 17.6 is currently on the RC version and it should be released tomorrow to the public. If it doesn't happen tomorrow, July 29th, it will most likely happen on July 30th. So we are at most a couple of days away from the release of iOS 17.6 to the public. Now this is actually a really important update as it should be the last big update to iOS 17 before we move on to the new iOS 18 which is around a month and a half away from being released to the public. So now that iOS 17.6 will be out, what are some of the few things that you should do immediately after you have updated your device to the new iOS 17.6? Well I'm about to share some of those with you guys. So first of all, if you're on iOS 17.6, and you have installed a beta version of iOS 17.6, you need to know a few things here. First of all, if you're on the RC version, you need to know that there won't be a public release for you because you already have the exact same version that Apple will release to the public. So even when you go to the software update page, you won't get an update for iOS 17.6 because you already have it on your device. Now, if you're on any other betas of iOS 17.6 and not the RC version, then you have a couple of options here. You can install the RC version right now by just going here to the software update page, or you can go here and just turn off the beta updates. That means that you don't install the RC version and you will actually get the public release on your device. So all you have to do is go to beta updates, make sure to turn them off and then wait for the public release of iOS 17.6. The next thing you should do is also go to the software update page here and go under automatic updates. Now here we'll have a few different options. What I will focus here is security responses and system files. This is an option that I believe you must have turned on. Now with this release, as I said, most likely the last big update to iOS 17 and probably even minor updates to iOS 17 won't come out for a really long time because Apple will shift all this focus to iOS 18. But what we might get is security responses and system files for iOS 17. So you need to make sure that you have security responses and system files enabled on your device. Now, usually when you update your device to a new software update, you will also get a carrier update. A lot of carriers will push out updates for their users. So you need to make sure that you have it installed if there is an update for your carrier. Now, there's a very easy way to check that and install the update. All you have to do is head on to your settings, go under general, then just tap the about section. Go there, stay, stay for about 10 seconds, and if there is an update for your carrier, you will see a pop-up. All you have to do is just tap install, and it will be done in a couple of seconds. Your device won't reboot or anything, it will just install it in a matter of seconds. The next thing you should do is make sure that you have all of your apps up to date. Now, most likely when you get a new software update, there will also be a ton of updates from apps. Usually the bigger apps, the most popular apps, they get updates after a big iOS release. So they are better compatible with the new release. So you need to make sure that you always have your apps up to date so they work better with the new software that you have installed on your device. Head on to your app store, go to your account, and make sure that you have all of your apps up to date. Now, what you can do also from here is head on to your settings and then just go ahead and find the app store section. You go here and you will have the automatic download section. What I suggest you do here is go to app updates and make sure you have that turned on. What it means is that every time you get the update for your apps, they will be automatically updated so you don't need to worry whether you have the latest version of an app or not. Everything will automatically be done in the background. The next thing you need to check is the battery health of your device. And I will explain to you guys why this is important. So you go to the battery settings and then go to battery health and you will see the battery health right here. Now you might ask why it is important to check the battery health. Well, usually when you install a new software release on your device, you will notice that the battery health might drop maybe by two or three points, sometimes even more. Now, the reason for that is that a lot of times the battery health here under the settings won't actually show the real battery health that you have on your device. And it might stay like 
frozen like it, mine can stay at 93 percent here if i don't update my device for a long time it might of course change but it might as well just be stuck there and when i update my device that's when ios will recheck all the components of the device and will show the exact battery health that i have on my device that time might be when your device actually drops under 80 percent so if you're on ios 17.5 and you have a device let's say with the battery health around 82 maybe 83 when you update it might actually drop so you want to make sure that you check the battery health and see if it's actually still capable of performing at its maximum capacity the next thing I would suggest you do, even though this is a thing that you probably should even do before you update your device, but whether you're updating now, you plan to update, or you have already updated, you should always make sure that you have a backup of your data. Now you can do, of course, that in a couple of ways. You can back up your data using iCloud, or if you don't have enough space there, you can just connect it to your computer and back up all of your data. It is really important that you back up your data regularly. Now, most people don't actually do that. So when you update your device and you take some minutes in your day to actually update your device and take care of the stuff that you have on your iPhone, that's maybe a good time for you to also back up the data that you have on your iPhone. And now that you update your device, it's maybe a good time to also just take a look at your privacy settings which are really really important so go to your privacy settings and there are a few things here that are really important that i think you should take a look at like the photos here you will have other things like bluetooth your camera your microphone all these things will basically have apps that do have access to them so if i go to microphone it will show me right here every app that does have access to my microphone what I suggest you do is take the time to go to these lists right here, take a look at these lists, and if you see any app that shouldn't be there, make sure you turn them off. Another really important thing, and this is the last one for this video, is right here under privacy and security. Go here, scroll all the way down, and then you will find app privacy report. Go here and what you will find is every app and every data that they're using so you will see data and sensors like contacts photos you will see things like right here network activity the camera everything the microphone everything that the apps are using on your device it will actually show you right here what they have actually used and when did they use that so if i go here it will show everything that these apps are using and of course if you see something that seems suspicious here and shouldn't be there you can then go ahead and take action so that's it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful iOS 17.6 as i said at the beginning of the video should be out tomorrow or on tuesday it's a really important update even though it's not that big on features and changes but it's the last big update to iOS 17 before we move on to the new ios 18 so that's pretty much it again thank you guys for watching the video leave a like and i'll see you on the next one